As the young teen prophet once said, Oops, I did it again. That's right, I did it again. That's not our car, that's still my buddy's car. He's coming, I think he's coming back tonight, I'm not sure, or maybe he's getting it tomorrow. Not positive, but this is our car. Karen just got home from work. I put the struts in and... Isn't that awesome? I also replaced the spring. Let me show you all this stuff, and it's really easy to do. So, here are the struts. Again, a nice little blue sticker on there, just like before. I should get some other stickers and put I1 Tesla on here. You know, be, be unique, not like a... <laughs> never mind. I'll tell you more about that part at, towards the end and where to get them. Of course, they're on Amazon. But to remove this, you see it drops down inside this plastic piece here. You have to remove this. But first, you have to remove this top piece. This, this top piece just pulls right up just like the Model 3 does. And you guys have seen me take apart these cars. In fact, I took apart this whole frunk. If you'd like to see how to take this whole frunk apart, click the thing up here, and that'll take you to where I took the whole frunk apart so you can see the HEPA filter and all the cool stuff and the Model 3 motor that's in the front here. So once you take this piece off, this piece will come off. Then you can get to these strut pieces just like before. You just pull the little pin inside there, pull it out, and the strut comes off. You also saw that it was very light to close, very easy to close, not a really hard close. Like I did the easy close on the Model 3 frunk. Well, I did the same thing here. A little stronger spring than the Model 3, but a lot easier to close. Once you have this off, you can take this piece off. Well, let me show you all that. Once you have those off, this is the spring that is the factory spring just like the model 3 it's a pretty actually i think it's the same exact spring that's right down in there i pulled that off with some needle nose pliers and put this little spring in here found this at lowe's i tried to find a link on amazon but i couldn't find one uh, very similar the one that i had for the model 3 there's not that many in stock and it seems to be a too light of a spring so this is actually a little bit more powerful you need to have those struts to have a lighter spring here otherwise the trunk won't open I mean, you don't have to have those panels on to close it this this is harder to close these struts are a little stronger they're 140 pound struts i think the stock ones are 110 pounds if i'm not mistaken or 100 pounds i'm not positive exactly uh, so this is a little bit more powerful it does take a little bit more effort from the top but it doesn't flex much the this mechanism here for this whole oh, the door opened up this whole mechanism here bolting down to the hood is really rigid. Uh, it wiggles back and forth, but this is such a big hood, this is very strong. It doesn't flex at all. Uh, earlier today, I actually texted uh, my buddy Stefan to, if he can unlock the car so I can work on the struts, because I bought two struts. Actually, this is the fourth set of struts, but I, work, I bought two extra to see if, which one would work on here. He remotely unlocked that so I can work on that, so I knew which one would work. For this because i was excited to get this going and get this out to you so i set up a, a i set up my phone so you can see exactly what is flexing over there and it really doesn't flex much and the difference uh between the two so at first you can just pull straight down and yes it is a little bit more powerful it is hard it's a lot harder than the model 3 but with two hands it's a lot easier and mo more than likely you're going to close with this with two hands anyway But once you get it down, it, it can be one fluid motion and that light spring, that light spring makes it so much easier for it to clasp and you're not pressing down on this aluminum hood where you're possibly going to dent it. So I like that a lot better. Two clicks of the remote, it pops right up. If you have a Model X, I do recommend these because if you use the frunk, in which you probably should use it a lot more because it's a lot bigger frunk and it's up higher, you don't always have to lift that tailgate in the back. That is power, so it's a little different than the Model 3, but it is nice to use this frunk area. Again, it is a little harder to close. I tried lighter struts, it wouldn't lift the hood up. So I had to play a lot with the struts going back and forth because it's really finicky. This is a pretty large hood, 
It's a very heavy hood. I tried with the Model S and it didn't work because that hood is so long and so cantilevered out. I couldn't get a strut to lift the trunk or lift the frunk without bending the hood a little bit more. But it's really not that difficult two-handed to close. Even one-handed, you know, the Model 3 I can close one-handed. This I can close one-handed as well. Uh, I do have a little bit more leverage because I'm really tall. You'll be fine. A lot of people complained about the trunk in the Model 3. A lot of women complained about the trunk because it was hard to close. This is probably, this is similar to that, but it's easier to grab if, if you can follow what I'm saying. So, and the great thing about it's on Amazon. If they don't work for you, if you don't like them, you can always return them. And they're not that expensive. So at least give it a try. If you have a Model X, give it a try. The fit and finish is about the same as it was before. I don't see any difference. These gaps are the same all around. Everything is, well, it's the wrong finger. <laughs> everything is in spec. According to Tesla, everything's in spec. There's no reason to not try it. It doesn't close though by itself. That would be nice. But this is a lot cheaper than what it would cost to make it close by itself, <laughs> so. <laughs> Sorry to butt in. I didn't record this stuff last night, but I just wanna, I'm editing the video right now. Grabbed my mom to have her try to close the trunk, and my buddy came to pick up his Model X last night, so I had them both try closing it. Both times, the first time, I told them it was gonna be harder, but both times they were surprised at how hard it was, but they were still able to close it. The second time, once I told them it's one fluid motion, you can close it, it was a lot easier for them the second time, and they actually both had the same uh, answer. Like, once you're familiar with it, you'll know that how much force you have to do to close it. And my mom is kind of short, so she was able to reach it and she was able to close it. Uh, Stefan's a little tall. They were still able to close it with no issues, they, but they both liked that it opened up by itself. I bought the struts on Amazon. There's a link down below for the struts. I couldn't find a link for the springs, but I bought them at Lowe's. From the description, you'll be able to find those at either Home Depot or Lowe's, and you can just pick them up there. They're a couple bucks. It's not a big deal. You can pick them up there or any hardware store. As you guys know, I'm the one who came up with the trunk and the frunk for the Model 3, and everyone took that and didn't give me much credit. I should say some of the companies didn't give me credit, and all the people reselling them on Amazon didn't give me credit. Just verbal credit what, was, what I was looking for. But with the Amazon link, I do get a little kickback from Amazon. So if you wouldn't mind purchasing it through my link instead of someone else's link that's going to repost their video showing the Model X and using their link, please use my link. It helps out the channel. There were some companies out there that took it and raised the price and tried selling it themselves. On Amazon, it went crazy. They're all over Amazon for the trunk struts for the Model 3 with those springs on there. I did all the research. I took the time. I figured it out. If you wouldn't mind, it helps out the channel. Use the link down below. Even if you see someone else's video, it helps people from it helps people from just taking other people's ideas and trying to and kind of forces them to come up with their own because. Uh, it's, it's good to be creative and come up with your own stuff. I do it all the time. Description down below, the struts, Amazon, Springs, Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever, wherever you find those. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay awesome, stay positive, and keep it popping. That was stupid, I'm sorry. That was a dumb joke. That was one of the worst ones. My bad. I'll see you on the next one. Or, what's popping? <laughs> that's another bad one.